Victor Peterson. I'm one of the co-founders of Screenly. And we're demonstrating a interactive digital signage solution using the Raspberry Pi running an Ubuntu core. So you just take any phone or how does it work? So the demo we have here is a regular screen running our Raspberry Pi hardware platform on the Raspberry Pi hardware platform. And we're simulating a retail environment that is going to answer the question, do you have this particular item in store? Because that's the most common question people ask when they rate retail. And we're going to do that with a number of constraints. The first one is that this is just a regular TV running on Raspberry Pi with screen on. So there's new, no new additional hardware that needs to be installed for the customer. So, so the customer comes into the store with, with, their, phone. with their phone. Any phone. This, in this case, it's an NFC phone. NFC, so okay. we can actually work with a non-NFC phone as well, but the demo is cool with NFC. So I just take my NFC phone, I scan this badge on the item here. So we have a phone with NFC. Um, there's a bit. There you go. So okay. now I'm going to, I'm going to send to. Oh, this is a demo phone, so I'm actually not getting to the web page here. But what you can see you had, but here instead is that you actually got a change on the screen. But I'm not even on the same network. I'm on 3G here. This is on the corporate network. I didn't have any app installed. It's all running over the internet, but it can still do all the triangulation, know what screen I'm in front of without any of that. So wait, uh, this one is not connected, right? It's just no. an NFC tag. Yeah. It's in the store. Yeah. And your phone is connected to the internet. Yeah. So you scan this and the phone is telling this guy to do something. The phone is telling the system that somebody scanned this particular item and just using Geo, Geo IP, we have to pinpoint where you did this and send that to the screen that you're close by. So there could be a bunch of screens in the store. Right. A bunch of clothes. Right. Go out with your phone to an NFC tag, which is cheap, which is the mass production RFID kind of. Exactly. You go and you just put your phone there. That's right. And the screens that are near you. Yeah. In, in, if you have two dents, it might be troublesome. But yes, that could work like that. Yes. But again, no app installed, no nothing like that. And this is done with a partnership with a company called Everything, which is a supply chain management company. And they work with a lot of big companies to do labels on and tagging on and on products throughout the supply chain. So what we are doing is that we are taking what already exists in their supply chain with their companies um, and reusing that exact same technology for a new use case inside the store without requiring any new hardware in the store at all. Just using the customer's own phone. Raspberry Pi on the TV. That's right. Only just a Raspberry Pi. That's just a Raspberry Pi. We have With two Raspberry Pis actually. One here to drive this big screen, yeah. and one to drive this small screen. So this is just a Raspberry Pi as well. So we have two screens in sync here. And the Raspberry Pi is at thirty-five dollar. That's right. And we already have over ten thousand of these deployed around the world, running a screen list stack. Where are you based? I'm based in London, but we have the companies global. We have companies, uh, customers around the world. And where are you from? Originally from Sweden. Sweden. So uh, when did you start this idea? We started the very first version of Screenly about three years ago. And we started when the first Raspberry Pi came out. So it's about over three years ago by now. And we put out the very first version, an open source version. And then we started to get more and more commercial interest. So we added a new SaaS service that is basically a managed system. So the way Screenly works is super simple. You either get a Raspberry Pi from us or you use your own Raspberry Pi. You put our software stack in there, you boot it up, you get a pin code on the screen, enter that into your web management interface. We have running, uh, that's not it, but this is our web management interface. So we enter a pin code there, and that allows you to start pushing content to the screen remotely without even being on the same network. So you can be in a different country. We have a number of customers where they have maybe offices around the world, but HQ manages all those offices, or retail stores in many countries. So HQ manages all those contents, even if they're not on the same network. So, um, so it's as easy as a Chromecast? Yeah, but better. Better. Because this is more geared towards managing remote screens, whereas a Chromecast is more a consumer-grade product, even though with the, cons with the commercial Chromecast, there are some overlaps there. But yes, it's, it's similar but we have more control of the devices. And what's the software stack you're talking about? Right, so... It's not an Android app, right? It's not. It's so, the operating system of this device is Ubuntu Core, and then we have our application stack running 
inside of what's called a snap. And our application stack is a bunch of Python and Qt. And that's connecting to our backend that is talking to an API to control those devices. So you have 10,000 deployed in where? All over the world. Uh, Europe, North America, Africa, Asia. Uh, we what have, do people do with them? That is the interesting part. It's traditionally digital signage tend to be in retail, but we have so many other use cases outside of retail. Um, a lot of them are menu boards in restaurants, some of them are dashboards on the wall at an office, some of them are in elevators. There are so many use cases that we could have never thought about these use cases before we started this project. So we just focus on delivering the solution of being able to push content to a remote screen without, you know, in the most simplistic way possible for the customer. Uh, so you can uh, you can get started and you can go to seriously strolly. That's that's for the demo actually. So yeah. if you want to get started with Screenly, you go to screenly.io. And uh, how much is the price for all this? <laughs> so the first screen is free, and then it's nine ninety five per screen per month for the managed service, and then it goes down from there with volume.